as an NBC, and uh, we're going to go over the settings that I use to get CW Skimmer to work with SDR Play and HD SDR. So the first thing you need is uh, virtual audio cables. Um, this is what I use for my settings here. I just create two because uh, I use it the uh, one of the cables for something else. Um, so uh, this is the settings that I I've set up uh, 9200, uh, and uh, pretty much it's all stock. But uh, this is the only one that uh, I think it, typically it's 4800, 48000. So uh, I go to 19200. Once you got that, uh, exit out, and then uh, then you'll want uh, the virtual serial port manager um, that you can just find on the uh, search for that and request the, the software. And once you get that, there's other freebies out there. This is just what I use. Create your virtual serial ports. Um, I just create two high ones. Uh, you know, basically you're creating a null null modem. So once that's created, you can go into HD SDR, and for the sound card settings, uh, use uh, line one of the virtual audio cable. Uh, the bandwidth I select it as the output is 19200, and then I select the uh, two million. Okay, and then the options, uh, the input. Uh, for some reason, it's always showing blank. doesn't have anything there, but I know it's the right one. Uh, it's the only one. So then uh, the output, you want to make sure that you have the IF as left and right right there, because otherwise I think it defaults to the AF. That's just through the speaker, so you want the IF out. <clears throat> uh, as for miscellaneous options, this is what I use. Um, just Nothing really fancy here. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the cat control. That's what I uh, have set up there. And then cat to HDSDR. Uh, again, you can see that's the port that I used on this side of the connection. So it would be a COM port 10, uh, 9600, none, and activate it. Once you're good there, um, you're pretty much set. Uh, then you can hit go ahead and hit start. And uh, it's not a whole lot of activity right, right now. Uh, one other thing you want to click on is the uh, EXTIO. And for, for what I found for me that seems to work the best is uh, disable the LNA amplifier and uh, 1.536 is the bandwidth. And the sample rate, I, I seems to be uh, two seems to be the best for me, because um, when I was playing around with the different settings, eight they seem to pick up a lot of noise for some reason. I'm not sure why, um, but uh, two seems to be the the sweet spot for me. Uh, also, the IF gain control. Uh, it's kind of a horse piece, I guess. Uh, I like to manually do it just because I can kind of fine tune, uh, fine tune it. So as you get too much noise and starts covering up other stations, so you can use the the uh, the auto AGC here, and it'll as you hear, well, actually see here, it'll uh, adjust a little bit, but it actually seems to be playing nice right now. So we'll go ahead and uh, just turn it back off. Uh, there we go. So then. You want to load up your uh, CW skimmer, and you want to go to settings. And for the hardware type, you want to use the software or Softrock IF. Uh, sampling rate of 19.2 to match the sound card. Uh, the audio, we want to select the signal source or the signal I/O source as the virtual audio cable one and if you want to listen to it through your computer speakers you want to do the uh, audio io out um, then we have the cat interface and i just rig type of kenwood and then com port 11 is the other side of the serial port that you or virtual serial cable that you made 
match the uh, settings of 19600, 8, 1, and none. Uh, all basic stuff. Uh, other than that, uh, nothing really spectacular here. Uh, if you want to enable it as a, you know, assuming you already know what CW Skimmer is, so you can kind of go through some of those settings. But uh, other than that, you're all set. Uh, hit the play button. And we should start to see some decoding. Looks like we got a little bit of an echo there. Move up the band a little bit. There we go. I don't seem to get a lot of bandwidth with mine. I don't know if that's a limitation in CW Skimmer itself, but you know, as it seemed to be, was it 24-ish? Uh, so uh, that's about it. Uh, hope that helps anybody out that's looking at least to kind of start playing with it a little bit. Uh, kind of fun uh, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with these SDI radials 73 guys have fun and 9bc out